friends, I'm Dragon Age, and welcome back to some more Doctor Who. Today we're watching the Christmas special, spe spe special, because so many of you were so angry at me for not watching it. <laughs> no, I completely freaking forgot it, so <laughs> we're getting into that today. <laughs> Don't worry, I have not to forget this. So here we are, starting off with Big Blue uh, Planet. No, of course it's a star. Uh-oh. Did you say storm gate? Uh, yeah, why? Why are you casting Christmas because of a storm? Apparently not. Huh. Honeymoon sweet. Uh oh. Amy! Hello! Hi! <laughs> you, you were dressed for Rio. Because you were always dressed for Rio. That's how it goes, right? Oh, look! Centurion. He's okay. Well, why, why is the doctor not here yet? Shit, because how did these guys get there? Oh, he probably dropped them off there for like a honeymoon thing for, for their wedding or something, I guess. Huh? <laughs> oh. That looks like a pretty city. It's kind of giving me um, Bioshock vibes. As if to say, well done. We're halfway out of the dark. Okay. We call this Christmas or the winter solstice. Or the winter solstice. Wait, what? No, they're not the same thing. On this world, first settlers called it the Crystal Feast. Interesting. You know okay. I call it expecting something for nothing. Wow. We have a Scrooge. Bah humbug. She loves Christmas. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, and I don't occur. It's Christmas. I think she's a bit cool about the whole thing. <laughs> oh, you sick piece of crap. That was funny. No, it wasn't. She's frozen. She's in the ice. She can't hear you. What a clever little boy. You must be so irritated. You took a loan of 4,500 Gideons. And little Miss Christmas is my security. So they took a loan and gave this girl as... Collateral? What the <laughs> hell? She's pretty though, your daughter. Hmm, daughter, speak. of course. She's not my daughter, sir. Wait. She's my sister. The president says there's a galaxy class ship trapped in the cloud layer and, well, we have to let it land. Or it'll crash, sir. Oh. Well, it's a kind of landing, isn't it? It's from Earth. Wow, sir. this guy. Some, over something is seriously freaking wrong with this guy. <laughs> you can't just let it crash, sir. So. Says the doctor. You already have a surplus population. Poor baby. Aww. And pour them. Oh. It's Santa. <laughs> Santa who? Christmas Eve on a rooftop, saw a chimney, my whole brain just went, what the hell? <laughs> let, let me just be Santa for a little bit here. Very hot. Yeah. As I've always known him, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. My name is Jeff. Santa's just Jeff? Okay. Do these people e e even know who? Uh, well, I mean, they probably would. They do know of Earth. Ooh, big flashy lighty thing. That's what brought me here. Big flashy lighty things have got me written all over them. Not actually, yeah, you're always very excited, excited about big flashy lighty things. And it controls the sky. Ice clouds love that. Who's she? Nobody important. Nobody. Oh, really? Nobody important yet. She's in a gigantic, um, ice prison, basically. Controls are isomorphic. They respond only to me. Oh, you hmm. interesting, you piece of poo. Huh. These controls are isomorphic. The skies of this. Ha! <laughs> okay, so he's right. Family tame them and now I own them. Tame the sky. I'm Kazran Sardi. I don't like you. not know who I am. Kazran Sardik? Yeah, no one's gonna know who you are. Seems like no one important. Without your help, they're going to die. Yes. Well, how sad for them, isn't it? This guy is a biatch. Bye bye. Bored now. Chuck. There are four thousand and three people I weren't allowed to die tonight. Do you know where that puts you? Where? Four thousand and four. Was that the sort of trick? Oh, whatever happened. Amazing. You brought it on yourself. Yeah, yeah, right. Get him out of here. The doctor's become a very threatening character. Has oh, kids getting pissed off. 
What stopped him? Get him out of here! What Something actually stopped him from doing that. You didn't hit the boy. Well, I will next time. See, you won't know why. What am I missing? Get out of this house. He lost his uh, child. I bet. Me the chair. It's true. There's a portrait on the wall behind me. It looks like you, but it's too old, so it's your father. All the chairs are angled away from it. Daddy's been dead for 20 years, but he still can't get comfortable where he can oh. see you. There's a Christmas tree in the painting, but none in this house. Oh. Okay. You're scared of him, and you're scared of being like him. Good for you. You're not like him, not really. Wow. Why? Interesting. Because you didn't hit the boy. Mm hmm. I want to see more of the doctor being like this. I despise Christmas. Halfway out of the dark. Have you got a plan yet? Yes, I do. Are you lying? Yes, I am. Hmm. Was he lying? Oh, the machine. That's great. Oh, ah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, there you go. So, how much time do they have before they crash? You better get inside, sir. The fog's thick tonight, and there's a fish warning. All right. Yeah. There's a fish yeah, you know warning. What get... He always lets a few fish through the cloud layer when he's in a bad mood. Okay, interesting. Is th this is becoming a bit more Bioshockish. <laughs> yeah, fish. Apparently, it's a fish storm. Flying fish, air fish, cloud fish, flying fish. Fish live in the sky. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. There's going to be larger fish. Oh, he will. Don't worry. It's, it's definitely a Scrooge. A what? The Christmas Carol. Merry Christmas, Kazran Sadi. You've figured out what is going to make the guy tick. Hello. Huh? What the? My name is Kazran Sadik. Oh. I'm Twelve and a half. Interesting. Merry Christmas. Hmm. His dad was stupid, abusive. Child. Just going to make a film of the fish. Fish are dangerous. Far too young. Everyone at school sees people say we don't have to be afraid of the fish. They're not really interested. You don't listen to people. No, this is probably how it is, though. Oh. oh. Sorry, father. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, what have you careful. done? Sorry about the picture quality. I had to recover the data using quantum enfolding and a paper clip. Oh, fun. A paper, a paper oh, clip oh, to recover oh, the data. Yes. Apparently, they won the lottery at exactly the same time, which is a bit lucky when you think about it. There isn't a lottery. Yeah, as I say, lucky. Uh, Who are you? Tonight. I'm he's Santa. Christmas past. Okay. He's also going to be the ghost of Christmas present and future. Maybe. Did you ever get to see a fish back then when you were a kid? What does that matter to you? Look how it mattered to you. Cried all night. Life's most invaluable lesson. Nobody come. No. Get out! Get out of my house! Okay. Maybe I'll be back. Yeah. Be back. He, he's, he's gonna come back. He's gonna be the ghost of Christmas present. Wait, wait, man. Oh. Wait. Oh. No, he's... Gonna, yes. Wait, no, no, he's gonna be Ghost of Christmas future. That's where he's gonna be now. See? Back. Who are you? Fuck. I'm the doctor. Devani. Ah, you'll never guess, clever old Mrs. Mantis. She only went and won the lottery. Oh, <laughs> the, he's and just the jumping on the bed. <laughs> As if I was climbing out of the window, I'd be going in the wrong direction. Pet. Yeah. Christmas past. I love this. Who are you talking to? You? In now, the future. Your past is going to change. That means your memories will change too. A bit scary, but you'll get the hang of it. That never happened. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it, but it is now, or it's going to, maybe. Wait. Right then, your bedroom. Uh -huh. Great. Let's see. You're 12 years old, so we'll stay away from under the bed. Stay away from under the bed. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Now, there's a thing called a face spider. It's just like a tiny baby's head with spider legs. Oh, I, I don't want to know. We evolved to scuttle up the backs of bedroom cupboards. Stop. What is wrong with you? Did, you what the hell, Doctor? There's a new pla planet. No, you shouldn't have. Good job. Now you just scared this poor 12 year old boy. Girls, I've never actually done that, but I bet it's easy, girls. Yeah? Um. really a babysitter? No. Mature and responsible adult. Where is he? It's just a lot of wavy light. Yeah, it's shorted out. Finally, a light too big. Okay. It's shorted out. What's so special about you? Have you ever seen Mary Poppins? No. Good, because that comparison would have been rubbish. How did boredom even get invented? My dad. What? Oh no, you there's a scary fish behind you now, Doctor. Be careful. Human beings. 
Do and about boredom, no, no one invented boredom, but boredom is something that happens when there's nothing for us to do. But aren't you going to tell me it's dangerous? Dangerous, come on, we're boys. Are you using this like an anglerfish? <laughs> probably. There probably are. Then I'll be sleeping in your mattress. So why are you so interested? Very good. In why are you really interested in fish? There was an attack. Loads of Oh, them. there was an attack the of fish. Shop. Okay. Loads of soup. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky him. He just wants to Lock. see the freaking fish. Everyone's got a story. But you don't. There's a fish. I remember. <laughs> now you remember. Eyes on the top. Look at me. I wear it and I don't care. Trust me. <laughs> yes. That's why. Oh, I, I love it. this. <gasps> That's what. Oh, wait. What? I uh, was he wearing that before? He is. Is he wearing a tie here? I don't know. M maybe. I guess he is. <gasps> it's just a small fish. Oh, it's actually quite cute. Crystalline fog, eh? Is that how you fly, little fishy? Is it big? What do you eat? Oh, well, uh, it, I don't know what it eats, but it gets eaten. Wait there for a moment. What color is it? Big. Big. Color. What color is it? It's big. You've definitely got a story of your own now. Also, I got a good uh, fish, and I think I understand how the fog works, which is going to help me land a spaceship in the future and save a lot of life. Oh, and good. A shark in your bedroom. There's a shark in my bedroom. Yes. Oh, Focus on that. How terrifying. What's it doing? What do you call it if you don't have any feet and you're taking a run up? Ma no. I mean clearly you're still here. Now now your job is to remember what the, the rest of the happened. No, it's not. It's going to try, but you're still alive, clearly, so you know. In the shark's belly. Within reach. Within reach. Damn. Oh, hey, <laughs> then it's his turn. <laughs> two goes. Wait, I just missed that. How how does he have two goes at this? Bad, big fishy. Oh, she's dying. Half my screwdriver is still inside. Hmm. Or who's that? Yeah. Can't we get it back up there? We were just gonna stun it. I didn't want to kill it. She was trying to eat you. She was hungry. Oh. He actually sees the, the good in things. Take her back up and the people never survived the trip. Just in general. You need a fully functioning life support. Seemed like an icebox. Okay. This is why the icebox was created. Never mind. Iceboxes were already there. Surplus population. Surplus population. Oh. Uh, okay. I didn't hear him the first time. Oh God. Come on. Seven, two, five, eight. It, come on. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. Small ones, yeah? yeah. Same woman. My name is Abigail Pettigrew, and I'm very grateful Pettigrew. for Mr. Sardik's kindness. My dad lends money. He always takes a family member as Collateral. Oh, Period. that's quite disgusting. Which means that if you can hear it, it's here. Okay. So it's holding on the screwdriver. <laughs> Is he still watching? I thought it already cut out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ugh. No. No, oh, she's singing. She's out. Oh. Her singing is soothing the shark. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nah, the notes resonate in the ice crystals, causing a delta wave pattern in the fog. Ow. Okay, interesting. Shut yeah, the fish bit you. <laughs> Just let it happen. That sound the machine can try to light them into. Ow, why do they keep biting? Look, fish like the singing, okay? Interesting. Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, she's in the picture now. 
I guess instead of his dad. Should be here on the inside. Uh -huh. Damn, that's beautiful. And hey, it looks basically just like they're underwater. <laughs> just you know, clouds instead of water. Oh, what's this now? What do you got? Lockbox. Get this shot. This this is kind of weird, kind of cool, but kind of weird. He the, uh, this guy is just like watching, watching his past, Ooh. before his eyes again. Oh, he's looking for the picture. What? <laughs> it's so weird to think about, isn't it? Abigail, this number. What does it mean? It pertains to me, sir, not the fish. Yeah. You are a doctor, you say. Are you one of mine? Do you need a doctor? Hmm. Ah, sorry. Are we going to be seeing more of her? Silly Christmas Day. You know, if I'm ever in the neighborhood. He comes every Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah he does uh, every time. So I don't. Oh. Merry Christmas! Doctor! <laughs> <laughs> he has come every Christmas Eve, I guess. What? Out of your mind, this will never work. Oh, don't think, Shark. What does that mean? No chance. Completely impossible. Impossible, you say. Here comes the shark. What the frick? That's kind of hilarious. Oh, what the frick is this? Okay. <laughs> Should we just give it a random talking thing? Oh, good lord. <laughs> But, uh, what exactly is going to be the problem here? Because that number is how many times it can be opened or something like that? How can I have new memories? And it's going to be le left on one. How can I have new memories? Yeah. Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, he's wearing the fez. Huh. Well, I guess I explained him wearing the fez. Randomly. Kind of. Merry Christmas! Doctor! Merry Christmas! Well, she's not getting any older, of course. Yeah, he is. And now you're blushing. Sorry. Not. It's okay. So, Doctor, <laughs> where this time? Might I make a request? Oh. Yeah. For family. Who are they? Abigail's crying. Yes. <laughs> yes, people cry. When girls are crying, are you oh, no, supposed to talk to them? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good lord. He can go try. Why not? Go give her a hug or something. It's kind of weird to think about how, how the doctor just, like, he, he just met this guy in, in the future. My sister's family. At kind of the end of his so life. Happy. And so he goes into his past to I'm make afraid. his entire life yeah. better. I mean, you can't be happy. Then why aren't you? Because this is a life I can never have. I think you're blushing again. Uh -huh. Hi! Come in! Happy Christmas Eve. Why do you look like last year? I'm starting again. Come on, Kazran, we'll start what? again. Three accounts. No. Because it was the seven of diamonds. No. Boy, You're sure. very bad at magic, you Doctor. Know. You never once came to see us. I'm here now. Then stay. I can't. Well, then. Well, Tomorrow's you know the reason, can't you? Canceled. Don't you? My sister refuses to attend. Is it Emma? Instead, we'll have it tonight. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> well, why not? Let's make it the best Christmas ever, hey? Ah. Oh. oh, it's still wrong. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be another year oh. older, and she's not gonna be any oh. older. Oh, yes, right. Sorry, I'll um. Hmm? She's going to kiss me. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, probably. So go and let it happen. I've never kissed anyone before. What do I do? Well, just kiss. Try and be all nervous and rubbish and be ashamed. <laughs> to be all nervous and rubbish and crap. Wait, what? Huh? What are you talking? Is that just a random quip? <laughs> or is that something that actually happened, huh? Mwah! There you go. Make it beautiful. This is probably how he knows about Earth. On Earth they call it Christmas, and here they call it something else. This will be the last time she'll be able to see him, because of the number on the box. The truth? She's really got to go quite quickly. I just accidentally got engaged to Marilyn Monroe. Oh, uh-oh. Not good. How do you keep going like do you Hello? Oh my god. Oh, god. Hilarious. Yes. I'm just going to get married, then, shall I? Every Christmas Eve is getting a bit old. Oh. He's getting older, she's not. Well, Christmas is for kids, isn't it? <clears throat> oh. I've got, I've got 
some work with my dad now. I'm gonna focus on that. He's trying to make yeah, an excuse for not doing Sorry. this again, but I didn't realize I was boring. It's not your fault. Times change. Nah, it's not the truth though, is it? Not as much as I'd hoped. I'll be needing a new one anyway. What the hell? What? Merry Christmas. And if you what? Been, just activate it, I'll hear you. I won't need you. What's happened? What are you not telling me? Hmm. Interesting. What about Abigail? I know where to find her. The number is at one. Or it's at zero now. Wait. Yeah, it's at one. So the next time she comes out will be the last time. That's why <clears throat> he grueled and became bitter like he is now. At least that's a new reason why. He sounds familiar to me and I can't think of. If you want to control cattle, you need to control their predators. No! No, no, no! Is that Dumbledore? What? <laughs> Is it Dumbledore? Harry Potter? Only you and I can control this. Excuse me, father. It's Dumbledore. Oh. Didn't even have to activate it, did he? Doctor already knew. Wait, what? Never mind. Hmm. Four thousand and three. There's a very old friend of mine once took a very long time to explain. Life isn't fair. Ah, interesting. He's still kind of bitter like this until he looks down and sees the pictures. Maybe. Yeah. He's gonna feel guilty. And all that stuff. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm the ghost of Christmas present. Ew. Just like that. Literally, yes. I <laughs> off the skirt. You turn into a Roman. Yeah. What are you talking about? The music. That's what she's talking about. Oh. Who are they? The All the people. The oh. No, they're the ones on the ship. Why okay. Are they singing? For their lives. Which one's Abigail? The doctor told me. Did he know? How do mm -hmm. I? I never met him before tonight. I think I've known him all my life. The only person who can let that Very ship fly. isn't it? Huh? Trying to turn you into a nicer person. Changed my past, my whole life. Mm -hmm. Time can be rewritten you told in a good me. way. Tell him from me. She talks about that People a lot. Can't. People can. I would never have known her if the doctor hadn't changed the course of my whole life to suit himself. Well, that's good, isn't it? It's not to no. suit himself necessarily. Your life was shit, and you know it. Any time I choose. Abigail was ill when she went into the ice. Oh. I suppose the rest of the ice helped her. So she was ill, and that's why. That that's part of the reason why she can't. I could release her any time I want, and she would live a single day. So tell me, ghost of Christmas Single present, day? How do I choose which day? I, I really am. I'm very, very sorry. But you know what? She's got more time left than I have, more than anyone on this ship. Good. Oh. Put him on the ship, basically. You thought that maybe yeah. it would stabilize the ship. Oh. If you can release us from it, we still have time to make a landing. Nobody has to die. Everybody has to die. So, Not oh. to die. How do you choose? I didn't realize. All my life I've been called heartless. My other life, my real life, the one you rewrote. Now look at me. It's interesting that he actually remembers. Better a broken heart than no heart at all. Try it. You try it. He has. He knows. Why are you here? Because I'm not finished. Now it's the future. Now you need to see the future. Do it, show me. Interesting. What difference does showing me make? Do you know why I'm gonna let those people die? I don't get anything from it. It's just that hmm. I don't care. I'm not like you. He doesn't care. I don't even want to be. I don't and never ever will care. You will. And I don't believe that. Then show me the future. Prove me you are. I am showing it to you. I'm showing it to you right now. So what do you think? This is who you want to become, Kazran. Oh. He's showing his child self. Interesting. That's really interesting. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Dad? No. This is why he can hit. No. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Mm. I'm, I'm so, so, so. Be a very weird experience indeed. Don't have much time. I just saved Christmas. Don't go 
You say Christmas, but also Kazran did. There you go. What? Oh, of course, stupid, stupid. What's wrong? Tell me what it is. You. She will have changed you too much. The machine doesn't recognize you. Oh no. No, your father That's... never programmed it from then you are now. Then what do we do? Oh. The singing. Uh, Abigail. I, don't know. I knew it was going to come to this. Yeah, how, how do you choose? It's going to be bring, bring Abigail. What, the screwdriver? Yes. The other half up in the sky in a big old shark, right? Still. If we use your air That's right, it's still there, isn't it? We use the signal, but we send something else. Send what? Well, wild thoughts. I'm sorry, Kazran. We need to transmit something into the cloud belt, something we know works. Abigail. It's Abigail singing. Sing. Could you do it? Could you do this? One last day with your beloved. We stay with you too. So one last day. Christmas. Christmas Day. So one last day with her before you die. I think you waited a bit too long, didn't you? <laughs> I'm thinking you? my day is like an old miser. <laughs> if you leave the ice now. We've had so many Christmas Eves, Kazra. I think it's time for Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be the best Christmas with her, I think, ever. Because she's literally going to save 4,000 people's lives. This is from An absolutely this beautiful is song. Well, oh, with well, the, the screwdriver, of course. What does that mean, unlock? It's going to open up the sky, that's what it's going to do. I can even nap well. <laughs> No, come on. Which is actually fair enough if you think about it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I guess so. The best, most beautiful Christmas ever? Oh. Hello, my old friend. <laughs> oh, what's his next idea? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Don't worry, he's Canadian. <laughs> Come on, I, I'm just waiting for for a hug from Rory. What? Okay, interesting. Sounds like a fun moon. Is he though? I'll be there last day together in the morning. Everything's got to end sometime. Otherwise, nothing would ever get stuck. Your phone was ringing. Someone called Marilyn. Actually, he sounds like the Marilyn. Doctor. Oh. Better I'll phone her back. And, and that was never a real chapel. Oh. Oh. Ha. <sighs> okay. Got it. Christmas. Halfway out of the dark. Halfway? Well, now it's the hallway. So did he get the rest of his screwdriver back? <laughs> okay, I apologize for for having missed it. I can't believe that I actually forgot. <laughs> uh, that was freaking beautiful. That was such a beautiful episode. I loved it. Definitely sad, but it was amazing. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, God bless. Keep calm and drag on.